Okay, uh, my intentions for the call are to go through the agenda and especially now that you are here, Juan, my, my spe uh, special intention is to go through the gravity audit and yeah, and see how, how it went, what was your experience and, and see how we can help. And I don't have instructions at all and I'll pass it to you, Ivy. Um, yeah, my intentions are the same as yours. I want to go through the audit that um, Juan submitted to us and um, get his feedback on the process and see where we can also improve the audit process from on our side, on our part. So the, those are the main things I'm interested uh, in. And um, yeah, I also saw the agenda and yeah. And right now I have no distraction yeah just some dogs barking <laughs> nearby but i can yeah just, just, that's it and uh you one um i don't have any distractions and my intention is uh, yes to to help on on to identify um the good points and what can improve in the audit because I think it's something very useful. That's it. Awesome. I think I can share screen. So you, we see the, the agenda. Uh, one second. OK. Uh, so okay that's the agenda so we are going to first review the gravity audit then also Libby uh, show me interest on do a soft go audit so but i was thinking like uh, we first uh, finalize with one and do and gather all the feedback we can so then we with all the feedback and knowledge we gather we should uh, conduct onboarding and soft code audit uh, maybe next spring then yeah as every week we should fill the call recorders and then go through the board uh yeah there, there is i mean libby on the on the on their presentation we're talking about the uh i don't know the name she used but basically it was like a accountability and i think we could add those issues on github and to a better distribution and then I was going through the TC videos like uh, you, Ivy mentioned last week. And then for last, I think we should update our manifesto. So we can start with the uh, audit, the gravity audit. And I, I, first, I, I'd like to hear from you, Juan, what was your experience doing that audit? No, for, for me, it was a good, a good experience. Um, it made me notice some uh, documents that um, I had uh, that were not updated, and it like uh, made me update it, uh, update them. Also, um, the the audit also made me think on the next steps that I am uh, going to follow, because um, like uh, the roadmap that I have done for gravity, it ends with the Graviton training and um, th there's a lot of things that, that should be considered uh, for the next steps of, the, of, of what to do in Gravity. And yeah, um, it also made me feel that, it, that, that the next steps shouldn't be like said by me, but I think that is something that it, it would be better if it's built um, within the group of people that that um in this moment uh, um or, or at that moment ha have finished the the training and our gravitons like i would really like gravitons to to participate on what will be the next steps for the pro for the project also like I had, um, I realized 
that the, there are some people that um, has participated in the graviton trainings that I haven't given them praise. And um, maybe I, it would be good for me to onboard them and to tell them to, to join the, 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 the praise channel. No, te estoy escuchando, Seth. Oh, sorry. I was saying uh, that will, when we have the Discord uh, price channel, it will be much easier for, for you, especially like to onboard all that people that's not joining. And I was thinking, uh, what's your score? Because uh, we, we put those points and then you personally should uh, add here and then depend on the points you end up uh, having one like um, for example actually um zeb i think it's while i was reviewing the this uh the, what the uh, one's document what he sent to us i realized that we didn't put a, a section where they should put their score so i was looking for that score and i realized that um one didn't put it anywhere so I thought it's something that we should add in this document, like put a, a place where they should put their score. But I wanted to also ask um, one, uh, how how it is to uh, to give yourself a score? Was it easy to um, compete the points or were you able to do that? Were you able to give yourself a score or you just check the criteria? No, no, I didn't. I didn't give myself a, a score. I just like um, filled the document, but um, I didn't know that I had to give myself the, the score. Well, we can do yeah. it. Yeah, that'd be awesome. For example, and what I was thinking, like for yeah, like you're doing, like what you're doing now is what I was thinking. But uh, for example, the manifesto. So if you have the manifesto, then it should be. Uh, all the points. So, for example, uh, gravity manifesto. Okay. So, if you have the manifesto, you should have all the points. Like you have four points. I mean, it's up to you. But the, the thing is, I mean, okay. You. Oh, sorry. I don't know what it is. Uh, but if you have, and then if the manifesto is not updated. Uh, and for example, if it should be updated, but it's not, then it's when you decrease your points, for example. For example, in transparency, we also, I also think we should update the manifesto and we should not have all the points. Okay. Uh, yes, I think that... Um... that uh, that um maybe we should also like say for how long should be like the roadmaps or 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 like how how frequent do we have to update the manifesto but i think the audits will say that like three each every three months yeah but uh, for the manifesto it depends on the working group maybe you're still keeping up with your manifesto and you don't need to update it and then you say i don't need to update and you have all the points because you already have the manifesto updated because there is no changes and i was thinking also uh, as a transparency uh, if any working group is like super busy we you we could give a hand for example this weekend i was working on on conf manifesto just because there was a, a github issue and I volunteer to help, but I think that's a task uh, we could do if people want. Maybe, it, maybe not. But uh, what what do you think, guys? Should we offer like that service somehow, like we update the documentation, or that would be too much work for us? That I mean, if one working group needs to help, that's okay. But if all the working groups need, we update all the documentation. That would be too much. So. I'm not 100% secure that we should offer that service, but 
I'd like to hear from you. Um, can, can you rephrase? Because I think that I, uh, like maybe I could have understand something different. Okay. Uh, for, I was um, thinking that, for example, you have your manifesto uh, not updated, but you don't have time to update it. Then uh, you could ask transparency to update it for, for you, just for help. And because uh, this weekend I was doing that with comms. But at the same time, I think if all the working groups start to ask help from us, that might be uh, a lot of work from us. So I'm not 100% sure we should offer that, but maybe we can volunteer when we want. And But yeah, I really wanna hear from you. Um, well, I think that it's good that the that the uh, working group leads like uh, update the manifesto themselves because um the working group leads are the ones that are that have the, like the most idea of, of what um do they expect and sometimes it's also just good because we are making so much documentation that sometimes we forget um to update the 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 um, so certain documents so th this is very very good and um i think this is also like a constant job that should be made but by the lead so so i think the the work on transparency is just to tell the lead update uh, update your document thank you juan what do you think i mean uh, yeah i that's what i was also thinking i totally agree with one that i think is the leads um job to do it you know and they know it better you know so it's just gonna be take longer mm -hmm. if we will do it and then they will review it because we don't really know exactly what they want to do with the working group so it's just gonna be like um doubling the effort you know so it's instead of saving us time it's like it's just takes the process becomes longer because we do it and then they review it you know we so yeah. it's just gonna be redundant so yeah, unless they ask for help, then yeah, we can offer. But if they think that um they can do it on their own, so yeah. And I also agree with what Juan said that it's our job is to constantly remind them to update their manifesto, just to make sure that um it's updated and and it's accurate and it's transparent. So yeah, that's. Yeah, then we could just keep like like it is right now. Like for example, let's say one working group says uh, I need to update my manifesto, and they put it on GitHub, and someone can volunteer, and someone from Transparency can also volunteer if they want. Like, yeah, no, it's not our job, but we can help. Yep. Okay. And cool. it's anytime we can volunteer. I mean, if you if you know what's going on in that working group, and you you know that you can um uh add uh value to their team so why not so it's a good thing yeah. to do also you know it's just that um i don't think it's uh we should put it in our to-do list like um oblige ourselves to do it for the other working groups because it's their you know <laughs> it was more like a, a service when they don't have time to ask from us but yeah it makes a lot of sense that what you guys say, like it should be them, and otherwise, uh, maybe it's out of our scope. So, yeah, I totally agree with you. Yeah. Okay, so okay. I, I had a problem with this question, and is does the team follow the voting process in making group decisions? Like, until the moment, I have, we haven't had any voting process. So, I don't know if that is a bad thing. Or that is like a good thing for 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 this four point bullet. I, I mean, if you didn't did any decision as a group, but I mean, the idea is like if uh, if there was a like for example when you started the gravitons, you, you do, did a vote or you just started? No, I never did a vote. I just like put all the information in the forum, but I never did a vote. Yeah, yeah, but maybe that's because like it's like uh like the first working groups like 
I, I guess you could still put four points here for you because uh, the idea here is like uh, when someone is just, like when you take decisions just to ask from the community, that's the, the decision process made by Softcop. But I mean, when that, what you did, it's something like for sure everyone would vote yes. And also, I think when you started that, maybe that decision process was not even make it. So if after that you didn't take any other decision, you could still have all the points because you are you are being transparent in that in regarding that um, because you are already put the forum post and okay. everything. This also my question was the voting process uh was, was was it already in place when Juan started the graviton training maybe because he maybe he didn't go through the process because the process is not there yet wasn't there yet you know no but i think that Levi yet, had have yes yes Levi had had this document uh before maybe it would have been good to to make just one vote just like to to give legitimacy so i will give myself a tree because it would have been good if i just like made a, a a poll and because like even though everyone could have said yes um what we are looking is to have like ev ev evidence evidence so so yeah maybe i could have left that evidence on on on, on the forum making a poll so i am going to make to, to give myself a tree because i could have like made a, a voting process and i didn't make it Another thing I was talking with and Griff told me, it's like, uh, for example, when we were adding the financial statement from the audit, I was thinking, like, should we vote it again? And Griff was telling me, like, no, like, no way. It, it's supposed like the people who is doing it, like, they already trust and we already did a vote for one thing. So uh, there is also not to overload the voting. We don't want to vote all the time. We, we should trust uh, all the members that are taking uh, lead or, I mean, we should trust the members uh, if they don't show anything wrong. So, so maybe it could be like added to this, to this uh, description. Does the team follow like, um, um, transparent decision making or uh, see transparent decision taking because um like not all decisions should lead to a voting process I, um, but maybe uh, a legitimate or, or a transparent uh, decision is one that is taken like putting all the information in the forum even though we didn't like make a vote on it that's yeah. actually my question um no maybe we could at a slash, like both are good. Like if you do a vote, it's good. But in, in, if you are showing uh, transparent uh, through the forum post, I think do another question would be too much, since it's like, for for example, like in that case, one uh, was transparent putting on the forum, but didn't make any forum post. But I think if we add that thing on the same question, then he can have the points and. It's better for the for his audit and all the audits. That's my opinion. But, but I, I think it's you. gonna be confusing. I mean, um, when does the working group needs to go through the forum voting process, and when can they just do a transparent uh, voting process? You know, it's not not. I mean, how will we identify which decisions should go through the forum voting process, and which decisions can just be. Um, made through transparent um, voting, maybe in the in the meeting or in the uh, I don't know. So that's there might be a, a the line gets blurry between these two. So that's what I wanted to know. I mean, yeah, what what should be what should be the correct way of making the decisions? But it's I think this well, question is very good. You know, because it's get uh, it gives um one or the the working group lead like um they get they it's like a reminder to them that yeah they have to, there is a forum voting process but if the transparent voting um process is okay is acceptable and then so be it but we just have to make i think we have to add um description which decisions can 
be made just through a transparent voting process and uh, a forum voting process, you know, just to uh, make a distinction you know, and to be clear for the working group leads um, what process they should follow. Yeah, so, but how do you want, do you want to add two questions then or like? Mm, yes, I, am I, I think it should be um, discussed with the softcov because they're the ones who, uh, who created this informed voting process. I mean, they, they're the ones who promoting it or I don't know, who's, or who's I mean, I'm going to. The, the good thing is uh, we are going to, before the hatch, we are going to do an audit with Sofco. So, I mean, we can give a good inputs on that. I, I think it would be great if we just take a decision now. And because I think if we start all the time asking, we slow the process. And since uh, Libby is going to to do this audit anyway before the hat because uh, she showed me interest on in doing that, on doing so. I think we could, yeah, just uh, keep working. And when Libby review it, we will, we will have also she's feedback and yeah, and that'd be awesome. And she can. I, I wrote, um, does the team legitimate its decision by following the voting process because maybe i think that the voting process is to legitimate decisions like maybe a decision can be taken by by a group working group lead but the 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 voting process is a, a mechanism to legitimate and to and to give force on that decision so i i, I just think that the word legitimate um like gives a little bit of this scope that we are uh, trying to, to, to say that the decision can be taken by the working group lead, but it, it has to be like like um, approved by the group. So do, do you suggest like we, we ask like, do the team legitimate decisions uh, following the vote? Like put you the lead following the voting process or, or not? Or put you yeah, add for... for I, I am going to share my screen. I, I um I, I am making it in in the yeah. in the gravity uh, audit. I, I can share as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was watching it on the. This is the team legitimate these decisions by following. I think the, the, this is like what we're trying to say. Does the team legitimate its decisions by following the voting process? Okay. So maybe uh, like we can take a decision, but it's not like legitimated with the with the voting process yeah i i think uh i i think for example right now uh, that's good like uh, juan is editing like uh, his document and then we have that feedback and then we discuss it like let's say uh when we have like all the feedback from all the uh, previous audits then we we sing all this uh, feedback uh, before the hatch and and we make like the final audit for post hatch that can also be keeping keep improving in the future of course but uh, like to have the best audit uh, before the hatch we should do like Juan is doing now he's giving his feedback here and. And then when we have all the feedback from those three working groups that are going to do the audit, uh, yeah, we just link and, and think what's the best. I think that's a very good method. What I'd like to hear from you. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to just um just leave it like this. I mean, let them um 
give their feedback, you know, but we don't revise the checklist yet. The whole, you know, let's revise the questions once we have um, feedback from SoftGov and onboarding working group. Then um, once we have their feedback, we can revise the questions and go through each of them again. Because this is not a, a real score yet, you know, it's just like, um, yeah, we're testing it and we see where we need to improve. Like, for example, yeah, this is a good point what um, one gave us that um, this question is quite, um, maybe it's very, it's too strict or, or maybe there's a loophole in this question because they can make decisions without going through the voting, voting process. Right, and it can be it's it's still transparent even if they don't go through the for, form voting process. Maybe they made the decisions in a different method. So we have to talk about it in the future if we should um yeah if it's how oh, how much score they can get because it's still being transparent. But they didn't go through the uh, form voting process. Um, also, what is the t total of, of what, is, what is the max number? What is the total of points? Because it uh, says like a hundred percent, but I am trying to like um, zoom, and and I think like it doesn't like give a hundred. Uh, no, but we could do like I don't know the English word, but the, uh, you know when you have some points. Or, yeah, for example, yeah, if when you we have, have um, let, yeah, go, go ahead. <laughs> you go, you go first. No, no, you, you fly, you fly, you do better. Yeah, like, Let for me. example, if there's, um, if the total points could be, um, 15, and then if you get 15 out of 15, then you get 100%. So it's just going to be like a percentage. So if you get 8 out of 15, then you will have, I don't know, I'm not good in math. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah, that, no, but that, that is my question. Like, what is the the total of of um, points available? Because here I have nine. Yeah, it's something that we have to improve, Zeb, okay. in this here document. Here it should be like ten. Yeah. So yeah. here I am in ninety percent in this yeah. in in. Aquí van 9, 9 y 9 son 18, y 18 y 8 son 26, 26 y 8 son 34, 34 y 4 son 38, 38 y 5, 48 y 5 son 43, 43, pero sería 43 de cuánto? 43 of, of how many? Uh, like, wait, let me. Wait. <laughs> okay, I will yeah, try to. I, 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 will, I will do the. Just give me uh, three minutes. Four plus three plus three. Four. I think the first. I think the first um, few questions, the manifesto, I think we gave this um, 10 points each. So it's going to be 9 yeah, out of so 10. This is 8 out of 10. The contributors, 4, 3, uh, 3. Yeah, this contributors is out of 10 also. And then the decision making, um, 4. Yeah. 3, 3, 10 also. Then maybe out of 50, uh, I think. 56. Oh, no. uh, this one, the impact hour is only 7. Yeah, it's 56 for me. I did the, uh, maybe, uh, I mean, I think I did good. But we should. Like, the, the first three, like, manifesto is, yeah, 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10. 10, 8, Ten. yeah, great. 40, 47 plus 9, 47 plus 9, 
Yeah, 56. That's the total. Yeah. And um, in that case, what's the maximum score? It's 56. 43 out of 56. Okay. So, 43. So that's 76.7%. .7%. Okay. So it's 81, so it's green score. It's 56, not 66, right? It's only, is it 56 or yeah, 66? Yeah, 50, 50, 56. I, so I also did one by one and I had to say, it's 81. Like, no, I got, I think that's only 76.8. Why did you get 81? Uh, if you do 43 and 43. multiply it uh, for 100 and then divide it for uh, <laughs> you did 43 divided by 56 times 100. Right? Oh. No, not 100. I mean, if, if you, you did to get the 43. percentage, <laughs> to get the percentage, percentage is you can do. I mean, you can do 43 and multiply it for 100 and then Why? divide it for to get the percentage, right? No, it's uh, I think it's 43 divided by the ma maximum score times 100 to get the percentage. Okay, do it. Let's wait, let's check. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> We're all good. Uh, how to get it? <laughs> oh my god, this is so embarrassing. How to complete <laughs> the percentage. Okay, let's see. <laughs> percentage calculator. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> What's your answer one? What's the percentage for you? How did you calculate it? Oh, it's, yeah, it's 66. No, it's, uh, maybe it's the wrong. Yeah, this, is, this is the answer for me. But I think it's the same, like I do 43, multiply 100, and then I divide it. I think it. that's a fair score. I think that's a fair score. Yeah, you got a yellow transparency <laughs> result. It's, it's... I, I think it's a fair score because um like I, I am lacking certain points that um it they are necessary for, for have a a, a green transparency score like um on the financial statement like i am not a hundred percent clear of them and um also because um yes i think that there are some things that i can like improve um with the impact hours so so yes so I think it's a fair score. Uh, but how would like you like I, to? My goal would be to improve it for the next for the next uh, audit. But to improve it, would you need help from us, or you think you you will do it by your own? I mean, what Griff say is like we offer we. Like the process is, we we volunteer to I help. I think this is something that. Like I mean, the, the thing is, maybe for example, let's say we schedule a call, and we are with you there, but you are mostly taking the decisions. It's like uh, just to uh, let's say, for example, if you say, "Yeah, I will do it," then maybe you don't remember, or I mean, if you say you, you do it by your own, and that's totally fine, but uh, that. That's a, a great feedback to uh, what we should offer to set up a call if you got, if the working group uh, the member who is doing the audit wants. I mean, if you don't want to, it's not necessary. But, but just like that we, we, we can get... sorry, like yeah. uh, we can we can schedule a, a next um, meeting with you guys because there are some things that um, I. I need to like consult with grief and with the gravity working group 
and like all the people because um I, I I don't want to be like just myself taking decisions and I think that for these next steps that we are going to have it's very important to have the participation of the whole group and to have like a clear review and a clear path especially on on this point because this is something like I have this idea but um it hasn't been like um like uh, talked with all the group and uh, it hasn't been like uh said how are we going to materialize all this okay. so i think like like maybe um we can schedule a call like follow to follow up what what, what uh we have to do like um on on march on the 15th of March, I think it would be a good, a good, uh, a good, uh, a good point to have like, like a follow up the 15th of March, because uh, ideally the, the hatch will be um, on the week of the 8th to the 12th of March. And the 15th of March, the first Monday after the hatch. And for gravity, it's very important what we're going to do after the hatch because on um, the 11th of March, we end up the Graviton trainings. And um, my idea is that um, all the Gravitons that have finished the Graviton trainings, then we can have like a, a, a group meeting to decide what are going to be the next steps. Yeah, that's fantastic. So then what we should do as transparency is now Okay, we did that. We gathered some feedback from this audit, and we should keep moving to the next people, right? Yeah. Awesome. I think so. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, well, we take a, a lot of time in that point, but I think that's super interesting. So the, well, the next point on the agenda is like uh, so audit. I I only wanted to say like Libby was interested, and yeah, we should not waste more time in that. Uh, um, well, I, I'm, I'm going to prioritize what uh, topics well, we want to talk before the top of the hour. So I'd like first to hear from you, Ivy, uh, <laughs> regarding the TC videos to promote CS. Did you have any update? Um, yeah, before we proceed with that, I just wanted to um, clarify and wrap up the our conversation about the audit. So um, just to clarify, the next step would be just to proceed with the, um, are you just going to send the documents to onboarding group and the softgov group, the same, the original checklist that we had? Uh, we, we, uh, do you hear us, Ivy? Yeah, can you hear me? No. I think we lost her. Oh, I'm here. Can you hear me? Okay. okay. See a message from through Telegram. I'm here. Okay, I'll disconnect. Hello. Hello. Ah, we hear you now. Fantastic. All right. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I was trying to say something that before you proceed uh, with the um, with the next topics, I just wanted to clarify the next step for the audit. So um, uh, the next step would be we'll we'll just proceed with onboarding and soft gov audit using the previous checklist that we made, but we will just add this labels for the score and the total score, so they also know um, how what's the maximum score they can get. You know, but we will just revise the questions once we have the feedback from SoftGov and onboarding. Then we will just integrate all their feedback to uh, make the questions better. Right, right. Okay. Are you gonna do it, Zep, to send the onboard the checklist to onboarding and to SoftGov? Yeah, I can do it. I can do okay. it. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna make the checklist um better. I mean, check the form, uh, improve the format where to put the score. Then I can send it to uh, you. Okay, uh, and I think we could. Uh, now I'm getting used to to use Senha, and if I have those issues there, then I'm I'm mostly 
doing them because I'm checking them, then I do them. Okay. So I think, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, and now uh, I'd like to talk about the TC videos to promote common stack. And well, I just want to know if you have any updated regarding what you uh, told me yeah. last week. Yeah, it's still the same. I started creating this common stack playlist, but I realized it, it takes time because I have to check add the URL one by one. If you can go to the, uh, you can go, can you share screen? Because I can't. If you can go to the YouTube, to our YouTube channel, I already created this um, playlist, common stack. Uh, wait, I'm going to share screen. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, you, you can see the playlist that I created a new one for a common stack. I go. Uh, should I go to the studio? Yep, in our playlists. With you. And then playlists. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. can. Yes. And there's, I created a new one for common stack. Can you see it? Uh, it's at the... Uh, I'm not seeing it. Ah, maybe you did it on the common stack YouTube channel. No, it's here. I created one. Wait. Can I see? Hold on. I will send you. It should be there. So I created it last week, but I didn't finish um putting all the videos. I can send you the link to the playlist. It takes a while. Oh, I'm not logged in. Is that there? Can you, can you see it? No, I don't. Okay, I have to uh, log in first. Yeah. Can you just watch garden? Here, ah, there. yeah, so, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, there. Okay. But so, what now we have this, but what should I do now? Like, you, uh, you told me to add the label from the last video. Yeah, but I have, I have to, yes, I have to finish this first so I can show you which exact videos you have to put in there. Because this is, okay, these sure. are not yet complete. So, it's, a, still, a, it's still a work in progress. Once I completed mm -hmm. the, this playlist, I can send it to you and um, tell you which ones will go to what video. Which okay, ones so for, will go for, to the TC video. Just to recap, for the moment, uh, from my side, uh, I keep doing the same until I yep. hear something from you, right? Yes. Okay, yes. awesome. That, that's what I wanted to clarify. Okay, uh, then, then it's like since we're in YouTube, I mean, it's not in the agenda, but. Uh, uh, regarding what we were talking on legal, uh, there is, um, let me see if I can find it. Mm. Yeah, uh, I mean, on this video, if you see, uh, it's because uh, we changed it with Sam. Uh, the license and distribution is Creative Commons and it's attribution. It's not from YouTube standard, but I'm not sure if we should do that from every video because it's going to be like, or man, I, I don't know if there is an option to make it all the videos this way. Because for example, you want out this video and it's say license from YouTube and we should change it. Mm -hmm. But do you know if, if we can do it from all the videos and not to go uh, like one by one, for example, like it, it's going to be the same from every video. Like you have to go here. I mean, that's what we discussed in, in legal and we wanted to to give that license to everyone. Not only to YouTube. Yeah, um, I don't know if I think we all 
we have to do it manually one by one but i think there's no rush for it so if you want you can decide just to do it for the next videos or we can we can change the yeah. setting for all of them but it doesn't have to be uh it, it's not urgent so yeah let's just um okay. try to complete yeah to apply the setting for all or you want to apply the settings for the um next calls i mean ideally for all but uh, for next calls we can start yep uh, yeah maybe i can something Well, I can just um, hack a bit on it by myself uh, okay. after this call. Yeah. Okay. So next point. What's next. Uh, wait. Yeah, I think one of our agenda is to update the manifesto. But I don't think we don't have enough time to update it now. So if you want, we can have another working session together to update it, or you want to do it async. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I think we we can do it async, and then we just do a, a sync, a sync, uh, and we could sing about uh, like different topics we were discussing now, and we sing uh, like I like uh, Thursday with last. Uh, so today last week, right? It was Wednesday. We always do our working session every Wednesday. Oh, okay. So Wednesday, fantastic as well. Okay. <laughs> so we we can sing on, on Wednesday. To update the manifesto. So we can <laughs> work on it. Yeah, like we can uh, work async uh, and do suggestions and comments uh, tomorrow, for example, and then on Wednesday we. Uh, sync and mm -hmm. then we have it finished yeah <laughs> it's funny that our manifesto is not updated in the forum <laughs> and yeah, no, it's so updated it. now yeah did it, it. <laughs> it it's fixed now yeah. it was just transparency being in transparent yeah being... <laughs> actually when i saw this message from meta birthday but like Oh, it's like embarrassing for for us in a way. We didn't update our no, manifesto. That's that's actually awesome. Like the community is forcing everyone to be transparent. Yes, and transparent it's a good working group is just it's just pushing it a bit. But it's the community who is being transparent, and that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what else okay. is in our agenda? We, I mean, we can just fill up this this mm -hmm. document. I, I and I wanted to like. You last week told me about uh, the Omega working group call, but uh, I didn't find any Omega call in the calendar, so I don't know if I miss it or... I think they cancelled it because I, I, I saw it before, then it was gone. I don't know, maybe you know something if they cancelled the uh, call. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, okay, you already... Yeah, I prepared this today, so you can just fill it out. I want to help um, with, oh, with awesome. one of the recordings, <laughs> but my problem is that I, I don't know if my computer will, will like, um, do it good, because, like, even in, in the calls, it gets, like, really slow, so I don't know if that will affect the, the quality of the video. Mm, I mean, you can always try, and I, if you, I mean, I can be there and have your backup. And if you, you have, then, uh, and you then see like it's, it's good, then you can, yeah, do it by yourself, and I don't need to backup you. Uh, which, okay. uh, which, which calls would you want to to try? Um, the Stewart's call. Okay. Yay. <laughs> that would be so awesome. Thank awesome. you, Juan. Thanks, Juan. So yeah, maybe the best way yes. to do it is to um do it together the first time so you end up with record together, you know. So if and then if it works for you, then you can do it by yourself moving forward. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you, Juan. <laughs> well, thank you. You you are doing this job amazing. Thanks.
Okay. Uh, just you know, like uh, we're using OBS, and there is a, a YouTube video where we explain how the how, how we set up for the TEC. And if you just need any help, just contact me, and I will gladly uh, help you. Okay. Yes, I will see the video. Uh, next step. Uh, yeah, the board. Uh, okay. I really wanted uh, Levy to be here, but because uh, to add these issues from accountability, maybe. And um, Seth, I, I also like w want to comment with you and with with Ivy that um, mm -hmm. for for the last question of the crowd of the uh, audit that is like uh how are we gonna manage the funds and how are we going to like sustain the the project i think that maybe with gravity and and with transparency we can make like a like a package for for other organizations so that we can say yeah we with this we are going to receive help um in conflict management but also you're going to receive help in transparency and how you're going to receive help in transparency like with the with the audits with the um uh, um recordings and uh and how are you going to uh receive help with the conflict management with tradings and with the uh so i think that we we, we can like uh, have these two groups as as as, as with softgop like um, in a package for a, for a financial sustainability. I think that's an awesome idea. Thank you, Juan. So, but that would be like post hatch, right? Yes, post post hatch. Awesome. Yeah, I think that's an incredible idea. Thank you. So, okay, I'm um, now we I'm in the. I think Sorry. it should yeah, be, uh, yeah, uh, th now that um, Juan mentioned it, I think we should put it in a roadmap when we revise the manifesto. Is that this plan to, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, uh, we were talking about adding uh, two issues here, but I already don't remember, uh, I'm thinking. Ah, yeah, I had to contact Eduardo and Libby. Wait, I think there is already one issue for... Uh, for onboarding, yeah, here. Yeah. So... The only thing I should do is, like, add here, or... Okay, yeah, that's that, right? I don't need to add anything here, right? Mm -hmm. Just add create one for soft cup. Okay. So, no issue. Uh, maybe I just. Maybe I can open two. Uh -huh. Then it's going to be just copy paste. Uh, where am I? Um, um, Zeb, maybe we can also say to them, just to Eduardo and Livia, um, that if they have um suggestions to uh, for improvement in the audit, um, just put them as a comment and don't. Um, change anything in the checklist so we can easily see what they want to change. I mean, yeah, okay, but also like they are going to have like a separate document from yeah. the one we use. 
Yeah, but so, it's easier for us to see because we yeah. might miss something that they changed and we don't see it. So it's good that if they have suggestions to change in the questions, just leave them as comments, you know, so okay. and then leave the original um, questions there. Okay. Uh... So where should I add that in? Should I add it here? Like yeah. just uh, put it in the description, like a note. Note. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you mean yeah, here, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, all right. Like this? You can see. If, uh, yeah, um, add feedback on the comment section, yeah. I mean, if they have feedback, I can just um, leave it open and I can edit it if you want. Okay. Uh, well, I, I let it like this and then you can change if yep. you feel it. And I want to, I also will add it here. Oh, I cannot edit that anymore. Which one? Okay, I can, no, I can add it here and try. Okay, submit the mission. Oh no. What happened? I didn't remember that. Uh, this label. You're saying yourself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now I should have it there, right? That's a new issue. Fantastic. Oh, and we should update here, right? What? Uh, uh like an epic, yeah, you can add it. The financial there. statement. Mm, and we are have some questions. Should I oh, I, 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 